All right, good evening, guys. Uh, this is going to be my video on my EDC or my get home bag. Okay, pretty much. Here's what here it is. It is a uh, Vanquest Triton 20. Um, it weighs probably about 25, 30 pounds. Um, this is pretty much stays in my truck at all times. Uh, whenever I take the wife's van, I grab it out of the truck, I throw it in the van. Uh, pretty much my goal is I work 17 miles from here. Um, that's driving miles. Uh, it should take, if I had to walk home from work, it should take me about six and a half, seven hours. Uh, same thing where if I was anywhere in the metropolitan area of Northwest Arkansas to get to my bug out location, if I had to, uh, it would probably be about another seven, eight hours. So, and that's with everything going good. Uh, that's pretty much taking the highways, but staying off of the beaten path and walking through the woods. I'm not really looking to stay the night anywhere. Um, I do have the ability to stay the night, uh, but my plan would be to get where I drop my truck off to, to my to my home, to where my, my family is. Um, communications, there's pretty much a uh, repeater. It's up on top of a pretty tall hill, tallest hill in this area. Um, it's only a couple of feet smaller than a, uh, than a mountain would be. But uh, it has a backup repeater system, so I can pretty much get into it with my handheld right here into home, and I keep my radio on at home uh, so I can be able to talk to the wife. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the bag, and I'll show you what I carry. All right, let's see if I can rattle through this real quick. Um, it looks like a mess right here on the table, but I'm, I've already filmed this once. The camera's died, so I'm going to try to do this again as quickly as possible, but still be able to make a little bit of sense, okay? So on this side, so pretty much like I said, since I live or I work about 20 miles away, I'm not looking to stay the night. However, um, I do have the means if I have to. This is a hammock that I can use. I live in northwest Arkansas, a lot of trees, be able to post this up, not too hard. Navigation, I have a whole bunch of my topo maps, which is uh, pretty much four quadrants that I have here, have here of my area. Um, it goes all the way down to, well, I live right about down there. But it, it pretty much to help me navigate through the city of uh, the metropolitan city that's just north of here. Uh, to go along with that, I do have my right and rain uh, notepad here with a book, some pens. I got a, a compass right there, as well as some map protractors to help me out. I got me a Sear Survival that's waterproof. <clears throat> I also have some uh, CR123 uh, batteries. This is pretty much for my EDC flashlight that I carry, as well as uh, my Vortex Strike Fire 2 that I have on my AR-15. I got me some AAA batteries. The AAA batteries will pretty much go into my backup flashlight, as well as my uh, headlamp that also has the uh, red, red lens, on, lens on it. I got me some Oakley gloves, never can have too many gloves, matte pens and pencils, or matte pens, Sharpies, and a pencil to go with that. I got a couple of chem lights here. Uh, Billy, I'm really intrigued by what you said about utilizing the, an IR, or you made them into IR or something or other. I, I really want to know what you did and the use of it because it's really interesting, interesting to me. I got a small roll, I need to replace this. I got a small roll of Gorilla duct tape. Yeah, a seal caught key to allow me to access water uh, fountains or water faucets on the outside of buildings. Because uh, my walk is only six hours or six and a half, seven hours uh, from where I live to where I work and back and forth, I only I have 24 hours of emergency bars um, just to help keep the energy up. I got me a VanQuest Triton IFAC with a tourniquet and some scissors to pretty much grab old Marine Corps IFACs. I got out with about three of them that I pretty much built this with. I got three contractor bags here just in case I do need to make a makeshift shelter of any sort or maybe a poncho or um, whatever the case. I have three contractor style bags here. I got two fixed blades. Um, I've got my Mora knife. And then I have a pretty much a shred that I gotten out of a survival box with a ferrous CM rod. It does strike. So um, just in case I need to build a fire for warmth or anything. Um, put that in there so I don't stab myself. These are pretty much a couple molly clips that allows me to put my IFAC onto the side of my uh, pack. Right here I've got my uh, lockpick kit. 
uh, with a bag that John made. Thank you, John. I got me some extra Ziploc bags. You carry water in it. You carry, uh, put trash in it, whatever the case. 100 feet of paracord. You can never have enough paracord. For my fire, I have pretty much a Zippo, some water, uh, waterproof uh, matches. Inside this, I also have some more waterproof matches. I also have a um, emergency whistle with a uh, compass. I got some waterproof matches. I also have some, uh, what do you call it? Some fish line, fishing hooks, just in case I need to uh, try to fish. I'm not very good at it. This right here is pretty handy. This is what they call a reusable match. I pretty much have uh, gas or kerosene for my Zippo lighter in there. That pretty much stays there. It's got a striker, ferrous heme rod. You can strike it, see if it works. Hey, match, and you just pretty much take it back in and it soaks in kerosene. Um, there's a little hygiene kit that I have. I got Motrin, um, mouthwash, toothpaste, toothbrush, and hand sanitizer. For water, I do have a uh, pretty much a water filter with some Oasis purifying tablets. Um, I also have two six ounce bags of emergency water that I can use. I have a pretty much stainless steel water bottle here that I can boil water if I have to. I also have a 32 ounce uh, hydration bladder in the uh, uh, the VanQuest Triton backpack. Some more leave. I've got a uh, poncho here, just in case it's starting to rain, I don't wanna get wet. Uh, let me see here, communications. I do carry a broken down bow thing with a spare battery in my bag. Um, they're not very hardy, so I don't try to use it. It's really for emergency purposes only. I do carry, or I've gotten used to, I've gotten a habit of carrying my uh, Yezu FT2DR. It's got GPS and also does APRS. I've got a Gerber that stays in the side of the bag, Gerber multi-tool that I can use. Now when it gets to security, I have a, um, I pretty much carry one of three. Um, I'll carry my Walther PDP, which is the newest pistol I have. Um, I've got the Walther PPQ, which is pretty much the uh, father of that one. With that, I've got a spare magazine here that fits either one of them because they're interchangeable magazines and an extra 50, box of 50 rounds. And then whenever I want to go subcompact or whenever I'm uh, in the summer, I have my Walther PPS with subcompact and then I have my spare magazine with that. Yeah, so as you can see, um, I ran through it kind of quick. Like I said, I made this video. This will be the third time I'm trying to do it. Now I'm going to have to pee some because my camera kept dying on me. Um, if you guys see anything, that, you, that I could add to it, please let me know. If you see anything I could take away, please let me know. Uh, just uh, like I said, I, I don't plan on going anywhere more than probably about 20, 35 mile radius. If I do, then I do throw in a little bit extra things. I do have some stuff in my truck to help uh, kind of compensate for this. Um, I don't go, I don't change it out for the weather because I don't go that far away. I'm typically dressed for the weather. Um, I have like my car hearts in the truck since it's snowing right now. Uh, I have a sweatshirt that stays in the truck. I also have um, some thermals. That I'm, I'll probably add some thermals to this just in case uh, since they don't really take up a lot of room. But uh, I always have a hat and a beanie on. Um, I don't have my hat on right now mainly because I'm getting frustrated with this video. Um, I do have multiple bags that uh, I could use, but again, I have a very bad habit of overpacking because I want to be, pre be prepared for dang near everything. Um, I do want to get me a uh, handheld solar that Billy has. That would come in handy to charge up, um, charge up phones or whatnot. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know what you think.